I've come outside to find a tree that I like and I think I found one. It's this silver birch over here. It's one of the ones that I planted with my dad when I was a lot younger. Now my first job is to sit down to cover my ears and to really look at my tree. I'm going to spend a minute just looking at it and deciding what adjectives I can use for my tree. Now I've got a bit closer because my next job is to really listen to the trees. I'm going to sit down and I'm going to cover my eyes and I'm going to spend a minute silently just listening. See if I can hear the actual tree. See if I can hear the leaves moving one against the other. I'll see what I can hear. Now I'm really close up to my tree now because my next job is to feel my tree, to touch it and see what it feels like, to feel this part on the, the trunk of the tree and see if I can reach up and feel any of the leaves of the tree. What do they feel like? I can feel the lichen. I'm going to spend a minute really feeling my tree before I come up with any words and then I'm going to come up with my words. Now finally, this is the tricky part really, this is where I have to think about how my tree makes me feel. Now Kenneth Graham in The Wind in the Willows describes things like the burrows, he says the burrows are friendly, places that you'd want to go to, you want to spend time in. But he also talks about things that are threatening, so this lets us know how Mole feels about them. So how do I feel about my tree? Am I in awe of my tree? Is it a scary tree? Is it a friendly tree? Is it a threatening tree? I'm going to have to think of my words, so I'm going to give myself a minute to think about those.